Yep. Welcome back to Sunbird Garage, episode four, I think we're on. This is a blasting day. This was an exciting point in the project here, so um, I really thought it'd be a great idea to have this car dustless blasted, and it was one of the best investments I made on this project. It really was. Um, it really cleaned off all the, all the crud, all the rot, all the rust, all the paint, all the undercoating. Anything that was on the car got blasted off. And it really gave you a good spot to start from. So that's what this video will be about. And as you can see, my garage is still a sty. I need to get out here and clean it. I had dubbed this project Project Phoenix from the beginning. I envisioned this car rising from the ashes. Well, maybe not ashes, but the rust. Maybe that's a better word for it. The project was about six months old at this point. We brought it home, stripped it down to its shell, got it on the rotisserie, and we were ready for the dustless blasting step. This rusty, crusty shell of a car really needed to be cleaned down to bare metal. Once that was done, I could see what needed to be repaired. I could see what needed to be trimmed. I could see where I needed to patch. I had seen a number of videos on YouTube and on TV shows and whatnot where you know, they had cars dustless blasted, and I said, that seemed like the right thing to do here. So I started looking around. I called uh, two or three different places, and the only one that really responded was uh, Jeff over at 330 uh, Dustless Blasting. We had a good conversation over the phone. He gave me an idea of a price, and we set up a schedule to get this car blasted. So in the morning of what I dubbed Blasting Day, I laid out all my parts. Hood, fenders, doors hatch, header panel, he was going to blast them all. He showed up early with his truck, his great big compressor, and all of his sandblasting equipment. He uses crushed glass, actually, to do the blasting. It's not sand, it's not soda, he uses crushed glass. The material itself actually looked like play sand, but when I looked at the bag, it clearly said it was crushed glass on the packaging. Of all the videos that I saw online, on TV, it all seemed like this was a very quick process. Well, it was not a quick process. He was here at my house blasting at this car, the doors and the parts and the shell, for nearly eight hours. He set up some workbenches and started blasting the parts. Started with the doors, did the fenders, the hood, the hatch, and then we laid those out in the sun to dry. So here's some video of him blasting the actual parts. He had to wear this big space suit, kind of reminded me of Marty McFly from Back to the Future when he was wearing the radiation suit, but this is an aggressive process, so he's got to wear good protective equipment to keep himself safe. So here's some before and after. Remember the Monza Spider doors I had? Well, they came out pretty good. The left hand door, the driver's door, came out really good. It had a little bit of rot in the bottom, but not too bad. The right hand door, the passenger door, well, it, it was probably a little bit cleaner than the other door, but uh, it had a big crease in the uh, door right underneath the door latch or the door handle. So that's gonna take some work to fix. One of the fenders, either I can't remember if it's the left or the right, and the header panel actually came from this black sunbird that I found in a yard in New York. I was hoping to take the hood from this car too, but it was rusted out underneath. When I opened the hood, it actually bent in half and broke. But here's the blasted fenders. They came out really good. One fender was pretty nice, and the other fender, the left-hand one, well, it had a little bit of, little bit of rot at the bottom. Didn't look too bad here, but uh, when I got to patching it later, I had to cut a whole section out of this to replace it. Here's the hatch before. I always got a kick out of this because it had a big sticker called Mega Bad on the car. That was just hilarious. Well, Mega Bad got nice and mega clean, so the hatch was really nice. It didn't have any rot, any holes, or any issues at all. My buddy Bill got me this red hood. He actually got me another hood, but accidentally ran it over, so he went and found me another hood because that's just the kind of guy he is. So. This hood came out pretty good. It has a few small dents and dings in here, but nothing major. So once all the parts were blasted, it was time to move on to the shell. I was really looking forward to see how this would come out. It was a long process, a lot longer than I would have expected, but it really did come out good when he was all said and done.
she is, all blasted and clean. And I had a beach in my yard. There was literally an inch of blasting media across my entire driveway. This is a picture of the underside of the car on one of the floor pans. I thought this floor pan might be good, but once he blasted it, and you look at the other side from the inside of the car, you could see all the little holes that were, you know, in the floor pan here. So that's going to have to be cut out and replaced. The passenger side wheel lip, yeah, it's got, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five different spots that need to be cut out and replaced, so that's going to need some work. And then we get to the scary part. This is the area of the car that really scared me, but once it was blasted clean, it didn't, well, it didn't look any better, I guess. But at least I could see what needed to be cut out, what needed to be trimmed, and I could start to come up with a plan to how to fix this. Well, the blasting guy left. My car is a mess. Let's do a little walk around here. He got everything off of it, which is cool. I got a few holes here I got to fix. I got to patch that. That's pretty crusty. That's pretty crusty. Couple holes, couple holes. This side's the worst. Couple little holes there. Couple tiny little holes there. I think those are holes. Those are the uh, Doug Steel access ports. Gives you access to clean out the inside there. A lot of work down here. There's a hole. There's a hole right there. Yeah. I got some patching up here. Car sat outside without a hood for a long time. patches needed there big patch needed there not too bad though yeah that's gonna need a lot of work he blasted my pour off this side isn't too bad you know, holes there and I gotta patch this, obviously. A little bit of stuff there. But, yeah, it's pretty good in there. The hole over there. Not too bad. He didn't blast the inside of the car. That needs some work. But, no. Not too bad. I'm pretty pleased with it. I just gotta let it dry and then clean up my beach. My wife's gonna be thrilled when she gets home. Ugh. Oh. There's all the other parts. Hood. Hatch. Fenders. Header panel piece. Doors, header panel. So, yep, there she is. See you. So, once the car was cleaned and dried off, I rolled it back into the garage and I took some took some stock of it. I looked at what it started with, and where it was at today, and it seemed like we were making some pretty good progress. But this last picture here it shows you, you know, just a shot of the bottom and. There's a lot of patching to do here, so 
that'll be the next uh, next few episodes probably. I got a lot of patching here to do and took a lot of pictures here. So until next time, thanks for watching. So that was episode four, Dustless Blasting. Um, I'll tell you what, that that was the best money I spent on this car probably so far. Um, in the next video, probably next two videos, I'll probably do some patching. And it might be a montage type video because it's a lot of pictures. I didn't have a whole lot of video, some video. Um, so I think it might be a montage, but thanks for watching.